not too far from here, just down the road. More calls for tougher gun laws heard at the state capitol. News 8's Joe LaFergie with more on that angle for us tonight. Joe. Yeah, Brian, you talked about the pain uh, felt on campus. Emotions still running high one week later, and one group here at the Capitol today wants to channel those emotions into action. We need you to come to us and say, how can I help you? Among those speaking out, David Hogg. I'm tired of being at these things. I'm really tired of being here. I think all of us are. A survivor of the 2018 shooting that killed 17 at Stoneman Douglas High near Miami, Hogg has become an outspoken advocate for gun control. How about we start focusing on what we can agree on, which is the fact that we need to do something about this. We are tired and weary. At one this afternoon, gun control advocates took to the lawn of the Capitol, sitting in protest of what they call inaction from lawmakers, specifically Republicans who controlled past legislatures for what they consider common sense gun laws. We think of common sense maybe as the majority of the people want this, then it's common. State Senator Rosemary Byer chairs the Senate Firearms Safety and Violence Prevention Caucus. Last week, a series of bills were introduced. One would require universal background checks for any firearm, not just handguns. Another would require gun owners to safely store their weapons away from children and others and include penalties for those who don't. The third is a so-called red flag law, allowing law enforcement to obtain a court order to confiscate a firearm from someone who, because of mental health concerns, is deemed a risk to themselves or others. MSU shooter Anthony McRae violated a number of gun laws. You are under arrest for that CCW. A 2019 arrest on a gun violation could have stopped him from buying additional firearms, but was pled down by a prosecutor, allowing him the ability to purchase guns. So would any of these proposed laws stopped his rampage. I would think so, yeah. I would think that red flag would, could have had a big significance and he's seen interviews with his parents. I mean, he's, you know, yes, I, there's always the opportunity for that. Opponents will argue where there's a will, there's a way, that anyone bent on getting a firearm will figure out how to get one. There was talk of compromise with Republicans who favor a mental health approach to dealing with mass shootings, but with a Democrat majority now in both the House and Senate, compromise may not matter. I think it's a risk for everybody if we don't get it passed. People are getting shot all the time. Those bills remain in committee. Live in Lansing, Joe LaFergie, News 8. Yeah, Joe, absolutely. The students and those pushing for these reforms, they're hoping to get keep this momentum going as you see that turnout at the Capitol today. And again, we had some more protests over the weekend there as well. Joe LaFergie, thank you for that.